Now, let's have a look at flat keys. And the flat keys on this side. Uh, F sharp is the same as G flat because that's the enharmonic equivalent. Uh, we'll talk about enharmonic equivalents as well. Uh, you know, C flat is the same as B, that sort of thing. So, flat keys on this side. All you need to remember is one, one very important rule. F, C, well, C has, C has no sharps or flats. And F has a B flat. That's all you need to remember. Now, with the flat keys, it's very simple. Maybe I'll, I'm running out of room. Maybe I'll write the rules here. Number one find the root all flat key root all flat key roots will have the word will have the uh, uh, the word flat next to it or the flat symbol except for F every other flat key will have flat next to it so for example B flat E flat A flat and so on only F doesn't have flat next to it so find the root Number two, so that's the first thing. Number two, start with B flat. Always start with B flat. So in the sharp keys, with the sharp keys, we started with F and we went this way. With flat keys, with flat keys, we start with the B flat and we go this way. So as sharp keys, we go this way. With flat keys, we go this way. Get rid of that to avoid confusion. See that? So flat keys, we always go that way. Starting on starting on B flat. So we start with B flat. Then number three. You need to work your way. Starting on B flat, work your way past the root okay and past the root or maybe I can re let me reword that work your way till you pass the root so work your way till you pass the root by one letter now that's confusing. Let me explain that. Okay. So, oh, I didn't do my. Let me just do this. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's do a treble clef. Okay. Oh, that wasn't very good. That wasn't very good. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that wasn't very good either. Never mind. So let's say we're doing the key of E flat. So first thing we need to do, see that? Find the root. So what's the root? E flat. E flat. Okay, so we're starting with E flat. So we're going to write the scale here. E flat. What's the now starting with B flat? Starting with B flat. So why did I do that there? Let me get rid of that. It's confusing. So we're starting with we start with the root. root. Now we're starting with B flat. We're going to work our way this way till we go past E flat. We're going to go past E flat. Remember, we're going to go this direction now, not this way. This way. This way. Okay. So starting with B flat. We're going to go up to the E flat, past the E flat by one step, we end up with A flat. So the, the key is B flat, E flat, and A flat. So I'm going to write those notes down. So it'll be B flat, E flat, and A flat. Now we're doing the key of E flat major. So E flat major has B flat, E flat, and A flat. The next step is easy. Let's just write out, just draw our, our circles. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we flatten the correct parts. E flat. E flat. Now here's here's where a lot of people make mistakes. They they they, they flatten one, but they don't flatten the other. Remember, it's an octave. So if you're flattening this, you've got to flatten this because they're an octave apart. And my thing broke. What happened here? Oh, these the magnets. The magnets have come out. That's not good. See that? The magnets came out in my thing. All right, that's okay. So, we've got our E flat, we've got our B flat, and then the A flat. And that's it. That's E flat major. Pretty easy. Let's do another one. Let's do uh, let's do bass clef this time. Let's do let's do F major. Now F major is where the rule changes because F major uh, doesn't have the word flat next to it or the symbol. So we start with an F. Remember, it's bass clef. You can start there. If you do it here, that's a problem because then you got to go all the way. You know, that's a nuisance. Doing an F major up there. So where, where you do a see where you do ascending scales is always better to start with a. If you're ascending, start low. So maybe we'll start with that F. Okay, now. F major, we know the rule. F major has a B flat. So just find the B. There you go. Uh, grizzly bears don't fly aeroplanes. Oh, that's it. That's F major. Let's do another one. Let's do one last one. And this time, maybe we can go back to treble clef. And we'll do. Uh, Let's do let's do a hard one. Let's do D flat major. D flat major. Okay. So we do treble clef. Let's see if I can do a nice treble clef this time. Uh, yeah, that'll do. So we're going to do D flat major. So. Let's have a look at that. What's the first step? Find the root. Well, that's easy. It's in the name. D flat. That's our D flat. Uh, what's the second step? Start with B flat. So we're going to start with B flat. And the third step, work your way. Which direction? Do we go this way? No, we don't go that way. We go this way. Work your way till you go past the D flat, past the root. What's the root? D flat. Because we're doing D flat major, see? We're doing D flat major. We've circled our D flat major. We need to go one step past the root. So starting on B flat. Like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, until we end up there. So let's write down, let's write down the key now. B flat, E flat. A flat, D flat. Now, will we write F sharp or will we write G flat? Should we write F sharp or G flat? Is that the same thing? Remember, we're dealing with a flat key, so we can't write F sharp. We have to write G flat. So now, the next step is to write the scale. Again, I wouldn't start up here because then you'll end up with a whole bunch of ledger lines. So I'll start down here. D, E, F, G, A, B, e, C, D. So the first one is B flat. Every good boy deserves fruit. And F, A, C for the spaces. Remember that. So the first one is B flat. Tick. Next one is E flat. Tick. A flat. D flat. Now here's where it becomes tricky. If that is flattened, then this has to be flattened too. Or if that's sharpened. Or, you know. So let's take 
and then the G flat. And that's a, it's a bit messy. That's a D flat major. So the, remember those steps. Find the root, start with B flat, and work this way till you go past the root by one letter. And that's it. It's pretty easy.